getting to the second part of the question, what is it that I would share with somebody endeavoring to be a leader? Is to be courageous. It's not for the faint of heart and leadership is not a popularity contest. So when I talk about the courageous aspect of it all, you're not gonna please everybody. And so you have to be comfortable with yourself and recognize that. And if you know you are doing what is best for whatever constituency it is you're serving and that you can look at yourself in the mirror and know I did my best, I didn't lose a sense of self, and I did this with integrity, that makes all the difference in the world. And most importantly is ensure you have a kitchen cabinet. Because when you're dealing with various issues, who can I talk to outside of this realm? Because in this organization, I'm the only one that holds this position. And so while I want to be vulnerable with my team in some instances, there's other times I can't. Because they're looking at me for that steady hand and that steadfast leadership to know everything is going to be okay in times of turmoil. And I need to know that I could pick up the phone and call another CEO in a different part of the country that may have experienced this and say, hey, this is what I'm contending with. Or it may be picking up the phone, calling one of my sister friends saying, girl, today was a day you won't believe this mess. And so all of that is very, very important. You have to have a support network. And last but not least, protect your psychological safety and invest in your own well-being. That's what I would offer up for anybody that's endeavoring to be in a leadership space.